All right, thanks, Gary, so much. And, you know, there are a few people in the game of baseball who are more universally beloved than this woman sitting to my left, Sarah Langs. And, you know, Sarah, we're wearing the NDLS shirts. The baseball is the best, which you were always known for, your positivity, your joy. And you have been able to keep up that type of, of positivity and joy throughout what is an impossible diagnosis. How have you been able to do that, and why is it so important? I mean, I think the answer is baseball because my purpose and what I've always loved doing is watching baseball, researching baseball, consuming baseball in any way, shape, or form. And I'm lucky enough to be in the field and have a passion that even as I change and as things have changed, baseball never changes. And that has been so incredible just to witness and live through no matter what happens, doctors, visits, tests, what have you. I come home, I'm watching every game, every night, and I get to share my love of it with everyone. So I think the answer to it is baseball, and it's also me. I just don't see any point in being any other way. If I were to feel sorry for myself, what's that really accomplishing? So I'd rather just be happy and have this approach. Well, you have become quite the inspiring person and quite an advocate for those with ALS. Uh, and you've, you've put out on social media and through interviews certain missions that you have in your life now. And one of them, you said, was to have people appreciate and say I love you to just the everyday people in their lives before something bad forces them to do that. Easier said than done, maybe, sometimes. So what message would you give to those just people out there to, to maintain that type of attitude? Just the idea that we're all here, we're all able to do whatever we're able to do because of others, because of the love of others and the support. And often those people don't hear it, as you said. You know, often we don't hear these things until something bad happens. And while I'm so grateful for the outpouring of support, and I truly am, I know so many people in my life who are not dealing with a diagnosis like this and are just as beloved but do not get to hear it. And whenever we see these things happen, as I wrote on ESPN today, often someone passes away and you see that outpouring on social media. I always worry, did that person get to hear it when they still could? And I think that we need to preempt that and make sure we are telling people how much we appreciate them. It's a truly wonderful message. Now I have to ask the question, how do people help? How do they get involved in finding a cure for this, this terrible disease? Well, the first step is simply being here, listening to us, and being aware of the disease. ALS is not rare, but it is underfunded. And I really think as more and more people become aware of the prevalence of it, they will then automatically be motivated to try to help end it. Now, to that end, we need more money going towards research. And of course, I have been working a lot with Project ALS, which is where the money goes for the stars, like the one behind us at starsforsarah.org. They do a great job identifying new science and helping to fund it. But I also want to tell people, do your own research. Find an organization that speaks to you. There's so many organizations and there's so much good for people living with ALS and working on research. Find one that resonates with you and it will be very impactful no matter where it goes. Sarah, you are a remarkable, remarkable woman. Your courage, your grace in the face of this has just been, as I said, so inspiring. And obviously, I think you know the entire baseball community is behind you. We wish you nothing but the best. And I'm going to disagree with you on one thing. I know the shirts say baseball is the best. To me, Sarah Langs is the best. Thank you so much. See